Hi, my name is Athena and welcome to Queer Gear Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at a car camping setup and it's all under $250. We're going to be looking at a tent, the Alps Cypress six-person tent. The mattress is a Sierra design, queen two-person, blow-up mattress, finally a stove, and this is a Coleman Classic two-burner stove. I look forward to sharing these with you. Let's go look at them. First, let's look at our tent. This is the Alps Cedar Ridge Cypress six-person tent. You can buy this tent anywhere between $100 and $160, although I'm mostly seeing them at $120 right now. My first impressions of the tent were that the materials were pretty substantial. We got to our campsite at night and Building it was no problem. There was a little bit of troubleshooting, but overall it was a pretty easy build. I would definitely recommend having a second person to build this, although I guess you could do it alone. The hardest part was just sort of balancing everything so you could get it in place. You could hypothetically fit up to six people in this tent, but you'd really have to sardine yourself. To me, this is comfortable for two to four people if you don't mind being on the tighter side. You don't need to bring a sleeping bag for car camping. My wife and I had some sleeping bags already, but most of the time, if it's not very cold, we just bring our blankets from home. The reason I bought this tent over very similarly priced competitors is because the reviews for zippers on other tents were not great. This tent seems to have substantial zippers and even being pretty rough with them in the middle of the night, it didn't seem to cause a problem. One final note is that the middle of the tent is about six feet high, so you can stand if you are below six feet. Overall, I think this is a great tent to buy. At its price range, I think it's a substantial tent with great materials. The bathtub floors were thick and kept us dry all night even when it rained, and I had no issues with water or condensation. Although I overall liked the tent, here's a few things I did not like. The inside is very limited to only having a small shelf above you and a small pocket, but by far my biggest dislike is that the tent, once you take out of the bag, will not fit back into the bag which it came in. The solution I found was to store the poles outside of the actual bag. Next up, we have the Sierra Design two-person airbed with pump included. You can currently find it for about $60. Because we all have different sleeping combinations and different sizes, I can't quite tell you if this bed will be comfortable for you, but I can tell you some descriptions of it. The bed is five inches under a queen bed. If you think about being in a queen bed, picture having 2.5 inches off of each side and see if that feels comfortable for you. The bed is seven inches high and unlike my experience with some air mattresses, it was very quiet. One of my favorite things was that the edges were very firm. So if you are an edge sleeper, you don't get kicked out of the bed. The included battery powered pump was a very nice touch. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fill up the bed. One note about the pump is that it takes four B batteries. I would have preferred it if the battery was chargeable. Considering how expensive camping mattresses can be, this is a really good bed. I really enjoyed it and personally, I wish I would have gotten it earlier. If you're looking for a mattress that is fully a queen, Texity makes a very well reviewed similar mattress. At $90, you get a mattress that is three inches higher and a pump that is rechargeable. I will have a link for both the mattresses in the descriptions. You can use the included pump to deflate the mattress and storing it away is easy and it fits well in the bag in which it came in.
Lastly, we have the Coleman Classic two burner gas stove. At $50, this gas stove was a very nice addition to our campsite. For years, we used to just bring a jet boil to boil water and then cook the rest of our stuff on the fire. But having a stove really makes things faster, easier, and also you can get more creative. One thing I really like about this stove is that you can just bring the pots and pans you have at home. There's no need to buy specific pots and pans for it. It has a user-friendly setup and I found that taking it out and using it was easier than I thought. Which meant that I used it more often, even for things such as tea or just heating up a piece of pizza. The gas stove knobs feel a little bit flimsy, but they seem to do the job well. The stove does not have a self-igniter, so you do have to have a lighter or match to light it. But that also removes one more thing that can break, and often igniters don't last very long. You might be wondering, well, then why would I ever pay more for a stove? Well, one of the things you lose with a stove at this price range is that the heat is going to be harder to control which means that things like simmering are gonna take some practice to master. So if you're looking to make more intricate meals outdoors, this might not be the stove for you. You also have to be careful about balancing your pots so that this doesn't happen. But overall, I really enjoyed having this for camping. I can't imagine going back to the way I used to do things. I like being able to boil water quickly, heat things up, make pasta, and other things that I just couldn't do before. It made camping a lot easier and more enjoyable, and it kept me warm in this sort of chilly day that we were having. I hope you enjoyed these reviews, and I look forward to sharing more things with you. You can support me by liking and subscribing, and below I have a couple of links which are affiliate links. Those links give me a small percentage of your purchase if you do purchase them that way. But I encourage you to look elsewhere and find good deals and also, if possible, support local.